Good evening. Time to be seated. My daughter didn't like that I did. Wendy, darling. Shh. Good evening. Welcome to One Huge Night, Gift of Life's annual gala. Those of you who know me know that I'm not usually scripted, and I am scripted, so I won't mess up like I usually do. That was my wife telling me, you need to have a script. So there it goes. Uh, this is our 18th year, um, celebrating the gift of life success and honoring our heroes, donors, and courageous recipients with you, our supporters. And be assured that every one of you are thanked, blessed, and appreciated. Um, as always, we are live streaming tonight's program. I'm not sure why we're telling you that you're here. <laughs> but it's in the script, so uh, I, I'm sorry, honey. I don't mean to di divert. Uh, if you have friends or family at home, feel free to call them now and s send them the following link, www.got.org slash watch gala. You got that? I don't, nobody's writing, but okay. We, we call this event our huge night because we need you to help us. Help us get everyone swabbed, involved, and isn't that what it's all about? I'm a prime example of somebody who's experienced the gift of life with my wife Wendy being a donor recipient and soon to celebrate seven, gift, seven gifted years as a result of it. No, seven years since you were diagnosed. I know it's five years since the transplant. <laughs> Even up here, I'm corrected. <laughs> 30 years of that. What do you think of that? <laughs> Bringing help and hope to children and adults battling blood cancer. Well, tonight you will experience, and I mean experience, the finished product as you bear witness to the incredible moment when two heroes, Gift of Life donors, meet their transplant recipients. I can assure you if you haven't experienced that yet, it's a once-in-a-lifetime miracle that you will actually see. And by the way, by the way, the celebration is not confined to this ballroom. Last night, in the honor of the Gift of Life, 230 Park Avenue uh, was lit, lit orange tonight. Hopefully when you leave, if you haven't seen it already, the Empire State Building is lit orange. And uh, as well, the East River Plaza, and I'm in real estate and don't know where that is. <laughs> and, and the Renaissance Plaza. And I have seen that, so they're all orange, including my tie. And if we didn't have enough reason to celebrate, one of our honorees, Dr. Miriam Adelson, is having a birthday today. And thank you for spending it with us. Very, very, very much appreciated. And now to get this night underway, please welcome Gift of Life's CEO, uh, I will add this myself, a donor recipient uh, several decades ago, and so a, uh, a living example of the work that this does, and actually the founder of Gift of Life, Jay Feinberg. Thank you, Steve. It's really a pleasure to have you as our Master of Ceremonies tonight. 
Wait, wait, Steve, don't walk away there. Steve, I, I have some good news for you. I arranged a gig for you at the Mermelstein Bar Mitzvah next, next weekend, just so that you're all set and make sure that you're available, okay? Now, all right, good, good. So thank you, Steve. And, you know, together you and Wendy have been a real power couple. You've paid it forward by raising, now get this, over $4 million and giving <laughs> tremendous amount towards swabbing donors and saving lives, and we thank you for your passion and dedication to the cause. Good evening, everyone. I'm so excited to celebrate our 18th annual gala with you tonight. We're incredibly fortunate to have last year's honoree, Shari Redstone, with us tonight as we present our Partners for Life Award to this year's honorees, Dr. Miriam and Sheldon Adelson, whose names are synonymous, synonymous with philanthropy. It really has been a stellar three years as we presented our highest honor to Wendy Siegel. Uh, if you don't know, that's, uh, Wendy has a husband by the name of Steve. That's the way he goes by. All right, uh, Shari Redstone and now Miriam and Sheldon Adelson. We are truly blessed and grateful to each of you for your friendship, your kindness, and your passion. Thank you all. For those of you who are new to our gala, and I think there are some whose first time is tonight, Gift of Life is all about making genetic matches for patients battling blood cancer. And that means swabbing the cheeks of young, healthy people willing to save the life of a total stranger, someone they don't know and may nev never had the opportunity to meet. We would be nothing without our recruitment partners, the people who run the donor drives for us to do those cheek swabs. And this evening, you'll hear more about one of our most successful, Taglit Birthright Israel. <laughs> Birthright gives young Jewish adults the opportunity to visit Israel on an incredible 10-day educational journey where they're also given the opportunity to join Gift of Life's registry with a cheek swab. The partnership actually began um, back in 2004 when Charles Bronfman came up with the idea. And what it's enabled us to do is help overcome the devastating effects of the Holocaust, which severed bloodlines, while at the same time sharing values and so of social justice and tikkun olam with those extraordinarily young adults who have such capacity to do good and help make this world a better place. And I'm pleased to report that the initiative has been so successful that last week we opened our very first office based in Jerusalem to further support growing this initiative. What's more, since we've open sourced our recruitment model, which has been so successful in the Jewish community, other initiatives are emerging now with others helping many underserved communities in need. It comes as no surprise, however, that there is a revolution happening in cancer treatment today. All you have to do is look at the evening news or read the newspapers and you'll hear about it. Innovations are taking place at lightning speed and many of these new therapies involve harnessing the power of the body's immune system to battle disease. You see, immune-based therapy is actually rooted in marrow transplantation. We have a couple of transplant uh, physicians here in the audience, and certainly Dr. Mary knows this. But for everybody else, um, it's important to know that um, because the cells from the donor transferred to the patient via the transplant play an important role in destroying cancer cells that evaded the chemo and radiation given before the transplant, and that's extremely important. Our understanding of this powerful anti-tumor effect has fueled many of the exciting advances we hear about in the news today. And on the donor side, Gift of Life is also actively raising the bar in this field. We have always been innovators and we continue to do things differently because we've learned that necessity, necessity has always been the mother of invention. We're refining the matching process using full gene sequencing made available by our incredible laboratories, 
diversifying recruitment to align with changes in population genetics, and enrolling donors through the use of paperless digital mobile registration for the first time in the history of donor drives to increase retention and to protect privacy, which is so incredibly important. But ladies and gentlemen, that's just the beginning. Tonight, I am thrilled to announce plans for Gift of Life to establish a state-of-the-art, first-ever registry-integrated stem cell collection center at our new headquarters in South Florida, and a biobank of frozen cells available off the shelf to patients at a moment's notice. <laughs> Helping so many more people out there as time goes on. At the same time, we're working to leverage our infrastructure to advance cutting edge biotherapies with our transplant partners and registry partners and commercial industry. And that's where our incredible donors, people like our birthright donors, play an essential role. We're doing things differently. It's time to do things differently. And with a singular goal to have a transformative impact that will save even more lives than ever before. This gala provides the financial resources we need to make all of these exciting initiatives possible and could quite frankly be a game changer as we serve to motivate many other registries around the world just like us to do the same. Not only is tonight our 18th annual gala, which as many of you know, means chai in Hebrew or life, which is perfect for this event, but we also have a goal to raise chai or $18 million to double the size of our registry through an expansion campaign by 300,000 additional people. That's absolutely incredible. And $4 million more for the other exciting initiatives that I just mentioned. But we can't do it without you. So tonight I ask you to give generously to our expansion campaign and together we will take a leadership role in saving lives. Now, before I conclude, I'd like to recognize a very special person here in the audience, a man who flew to Belarus 24 years ago today to find a matching bone marrow donor for me when I needed one. Gift of Life's Chairman, Bill Beagle. Bill, thank you for helping so many and for helping to save my life. And thank you all so much for being here tonight, joining us, and enjoy this very special evening ahead. It's an evening not to be missed. Thank you all so much. Can you think of a better example of Gift of Life and what it does and or a better person to deliver the message than Jay? And I charge for Bar Mitzvahs, Jay. Uh, now it's my pleasure to introduce uh, Neely Falik, uh, one of tonight's gala chairs. Uh, in the business world, Neely and her family can be found at the helm of uh, Duty Free America, the preeminent duty free um, uh, the preeminent duty-free retailer in the Western Hemisphere. But to understand Neely uh, is to know how she is seven-generation gener Israeli, whose family was among the founders of the modern state of Israel. Today, Neely proudly continues that heritage, serving as chairman emeritus of the Friends of the Israeli Defense Forces. An amazing organization. For those of you who don't know it, I suggest you look into it. Neely is, the former is a former educator and co-author of the book, 10 Lessons in the Teaching of Jerusalem. She is a passionate supporter of Jewish education, Zionist organizations, the Breast Cancer Research Foundation, Nicholas Children's Hospital, and many other good causes. Please welcome Dr. Neely Falik. Thank you. When the Lord created the world, 
he also created angels. Some he kept in heaven, and some he scattered upon the earth. It is my great privilege and pleasure to pay tributes to such two angels of our own who are bestowing the gift of life to so many. My dear friends, whom I love and admire, tonight's recipients of the 18th Annual Partners of Life Award, the distinguished honorees, Dr. Miriam and Sheldon Adelson. It is written in the Judaic Babylonian Talmud, whoever saves a single life is considered as if he saved the entire world. You, Dr. Miriam and Sheldon, have saved numerous lives from all walks of life. Your exemplary leadership and outstanding lifelong heartwarming admirable generosity and philanthropy to countless causes, such as medicine, the gift of life, marrow registry, education, technology, IAC, and the state of Israel and its defenders, the IDF. These and so many others are unparalleled and indeed legendary. You make you make an immeasurable difference in the lives of so many. When the history of our era will be written, you will be sure granted an illustrious chapter as the beacons of shining light upon a generation. Tonight is a double festivity celebrating the remarkable miracles of the gift of life, as well as the celebration of your birthday, my dear Miri. I join all the well-wishers and the gift of life reborn celebrants in wishing you a happy birthday and many happy and healthy returns of blessed years together with Sheldon. Mazal tov, Miri. And now, I'd like to introduce you to a very special little boy whose life you saved. Please turn your attention to the screens. Little did we know that I am a carrier of a life-threatening genetic disorder called hyper-IgM syndrome. So hyper-IgM is one in a million. And when we had our first child together, we found out that he actually had the disease. He was eight months old. He started breathing very quickly. His immune system is not working properly and he's not able to produce antibodies to fight off bacteria or viruses. The average expected lifespan is about 24 years old. It was devastating. I mean, it just, it crushed our world. There's a period of mourning that you go through when you find out your child has a terminal illness. So the only known cure for hyper-IgM is a, a bone marrow transplant. We started basically searching for a donor and for a center to cure hyper-IgM. The fact that there's a foundation out there that is finding people who are willing to volunteer to give blood or bone marrow, it's just incredible the work that they're doing. 
And when we went out to Seattle in 2016, Idan was just on the cusp of turning four. You're a new mom. You have all of these hopes and dreams for your child. And those were crushed for so many years. To be at a point where we can have hopes and dreams. It's such an amazing, incredible feeling to know that your child is better. And after everything that he's been through, that he's okay. This foundation is doing critical work. Without Gift of Life, I don't know what my child's future would be. Without Gift of Life, we would have never found a match and we would have never cured our son. In Judaism, and if you save a life, you save a world. Gift of Life is doing that every day. When people come to a bone marrow transplant, they are in the most desperate of situations. And Gift of Life gives those people hope. Supporting this organization is very important. Gift of Life saves a lot of people. Thank you for saving my life. It's weird, this, this donor has become an extension of our family and we haven't met them yet. And it's, it's going to be quite an emotional experience and we can't wait to say thank you in person and to look him in the eye and say, you saved our son's life. You gave us hope. Let's welcome Idan Zablok and his parents, Akiva and Amanda, to the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, Idan is here with us tonight because a complete stranger was willing to help. Idan, I'm sure you'd like to know more about this stranger who saved your life. Your donor is 22 years old and this past spring, he graduated from University of Michigan Ross School of Business. Yeah. He lives here in New York, working as a private banking analyst at JP Morgan. He joined the Gift of Life Registry while he was in Israel on a birthright trip. He didn't know it at the time, but his donor was generously, generously sponsored. The swap was generally sponsored by the Edelson Family Foundation. <laughs> when he heard he was a match for a little boy, he was overcome with joy and happiness that he could save someone else's life. Yet he was a little nervous because he knew that it, he has a child's life in his hands. But nevertheless, 
he couldn't turn down the amazing opportunity to save a life. I know it is really excited, and I know Idan, that he is really excited to meet you and get to know you and your family. So let's bring him out. <laughs> Idan, it's my pleasure to introduce to you your life-saving hero. Please meet Alex Weiss. So I do have a little speech. So the summer of 2015 was truly life-changing for me. I finished my freshman year at the University of Michigan and traveled to Israel on birthright. As a birthright participant, I, I was encouraged to get my cheeks swabbed in hopes of saving a life. Who would have thought that my DNA would have been the match for this little amazing boy and how easy it would have been to save his life. After my birthright trip, I never, I never gave much thought into the little cheek swab that I did until nine months later when I got the call that I was a match for a young boy with leukemia. With the help of the wonderful Gift of Life staff, I was guided through an easy and well-explained process. Donating my cells just took a few hours but my life literally changed forever. The process has helped me realize how precious life is and how incredibly important it is to do meets vote for others. This past summer, I brought the experience full circle when I was chosen to lead a University of Michigan birthright trip. When the time came for my group to learn about birthright and the gift of life, I explained the story to them there was no convincing needed. All 47 people on my bus got tested. <laughs> and there were four other buses, they also got tested too, and they all did it. In that moment, I realized how impactful the partnership is between Birthright and the gift of life. I would like to give a special thanks to our honorees, Miriam and Sheldon Adelson, Thanks for their ge generosity, dedication, and unwavering support of the organization. Countless lives have been saved. And of course, a very special birthday shout out to Miriam Adelson herself. <laughs> I am so excited to meet my recipient, Don. I, I don't even know what to say. It warms my heart to be able to be here today with all of you and to be here with him and his family. There is no greater gift for me than to see you healthy, thriving, and playing with your friends. To my new little buddy, we will always be connected through DNA, and you will always be connected to me through my heart. Thank you everyone for honoring me tonight, and thank you again to the Adelsons, and thank you to the Gift of Life for making this day possible. There truly is no greater gift than the gift of life. Thank you, everyone. Um, we just wanted to say, and this will be brief, first of all, as a postscript to that video, um, five months ago, we had a baby girl, so Idan is now a big brother. 
something that we didn't imagine when he first was diagnosed with a severe immune deficiency. Um, so we thank the donor and all the donors and everyone in this room and Gift of Life for saving lives and changing the course of our history and so many others. So thank you.